Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make carrot pasta and then also I'm going to make soupy carrot pasta but then before that let's learn how to make the pasta first. So here I have two cups of flour and half cup of rice flour. The measuring cup that I have taken is a 140 ml cup. In the other bowl I have four tablespoons of carrot paste which I have grinded in the mixture grinder, some salt and oil. All these things I'm going to use to knead the dough. So here I put the flour, half teaspoon of salt, salt you can use according to your taste, and the four tablespoon of carrot paste. And one tablespoon of oil. I forgot to mention in the beginning that we may be needing some water also to knead the dough, but it's okay, I'm telling you now, hope you don't mind. Now I first I'll try to knead without the water. So when we knead, if the dough looks too dry then we'll start adding the water and knead the dough this i'm going to knead with my hand the dough looks dry that also too dry isn't it we need a lot of water now to knead the dough so here i'm going to add around four tablespoon of water first one two three and four and we'll knead and see whether the water is enough for the dough or not. Later on, if we need extra, then again, we'll add up. So I'm going to knead with my hand again. I'm going to add another three tablespoon of water. I think this will be enough now. Um, so altogether, I have used how many? Seven tablespoon of water. Now I'm going to knead this into a smooth do this is the dough it should be soft like this now i'm going to keep this aside for 15 minutes by covering it with a cloth after that only i'm going to start making the pastas here is the dough after 15 minutes before i start rolling the dough into pastas let's go and place a bowl of water to boil on the stove in this bowl i have taken one liter of water to which i'm going to add a half teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of oil and let it boil for some time, I have already switched on the gas. In the meantime, we'll go and start rolling the pasta. I have finished rolling the finger-shaped pastas. I'll show you one by doing how I did. I took a small ball and in between my palms, I rolled it like this. In this way, I shaped all the pastas now before i put this into the boiling water let me tell you uh, some these pastas they all look dusty isn't it with the flour i have sprinkled the flour so that the they will not get stuck to one another now i'm going to put this into the boiling water and boil for around five to ten minutes you can see the water is boiling I have switched on the gas. Now I'm going to drop all the pastas into this boiling water and let it get cooked for around 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, uh, we'll go and prepare the other ingredients for the soupy pastas. I have put all the finger pastas into this boiling water. Now I'm going to cook this for 5 to 10 minutes. But then we have to keep on stirring the pasta off and on so that they don't get stuck with one another so in this way i'm going to let it cook 
you can see that they are not stuck with one another, isn't it? So in this way, I'm going to let it boil. After boiling for 10 minutes, I'm going to take out all the pastas on a plate. Let me tell you one thing. I boil the pastas by keeping the flame in between low to medium heat. And uh, this water I'm not going to throw, but I'm going to use it to make the soup. I have taken out all the pastas on this plate. Now I'm going to wash this once or twice in the cold water. After that only, I'm going to prepare the soupy pasta with some vegetables. I have washed the pasta in the cold water twice. Now I'm going to let it sit for some time so that all the water get drained from the pasta. Now let's start preparing for the soup. These are the ingredients that I'll be using to make the soup. Here I have one medium sized chopped onions, chopped carrot, chopped cabbage, chopped French beans, one teaspoon of garlic paste and one teaspoon of ginger paste. This, all this I'm going to use for the soup. Here I have taken a wok. Into this I have put two tablespoons of oil to salt the pastas a little bit. After that only I'm going to use them into the soup. I'm going to salt this for one minute. After that I'm going to switch off the gas. I'm done with the frying of the pastas for one minute. Now I'm going to take out this on a plate and in the same pan I'm going to fry the onions and the other vegetables. In the same wok I have put one tablespoon of oil. The oil has already heat up so now I'm going to add the chopped onion and salt for some time till they are slightly golden brown. To it, I add half teaspoon of ginger paste and half teaspoon of garlic paste. And I'm going to salt this for some time till they are nicely golden brown. I put the chopped carrot, chopped French beans, and the chopped cabbage and salt this for around 2 minutes. I'm done. I have fried this for 2 minutes. Now I'm going to put all the pastas into this wok. And I'm going to mix it thoroughly. I have used that same water which I used to boil the pastas, I did not throw that. And I did not add any extra salt because while boiling the pastas, I have already used half teaspoon of salt. So I did not use any extra now. Into this soup, I have added half teaspoon of crushed black pepper. This I'll let it boil for one minute and after that it's ready to be served. The pastas are ready now to be served. So tempting, isn't it? I have garnished with chopped carrot and some coriander leaves. Believe it, it tastes so wonderful, okay, when we make our own pastas at home and cook. I hope you will surely try this recipe. If you like watching my video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe so that whatever new videos I upload, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much.